overnight challenge inside of a hot tent, and I bought everything off of Amazon. Hey. There. There. Yeah, you haters. We're on. We're on. Oh, we're melting. No way. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Full on. Tent's on fire. What? What's going on folks? Welcome back to another video. We are going to do an overnight challenge inside of a hot tent and I bought everything off of Amazon. I've been watching hot tent videos for years now. It seems like a really fun thing to do and I finally got the courage to finally try to do it and we had to wait for some snow just for dramatic effect. So I went on Amazon, dropped about 500 bucks and got everything we need to camp. I mean, we are packed down. This is crazy how much gear there is here. I mean, we've got, we're talking about a wood burning stove inside of a tent we've got stuff to cook we've got cots we've got sleeping bags I mean right now it's about probably 30 ish degrees about right at freezing as soon as that Sun goes down over there though it is gonna be in the teens to single digits tonight it is gonna be cold not crazy cold but freaking cold I've never camped overnight when it's this cold the only time I think I've ever camped when it's been really cold was when Banjo and I did a blizzard challenge and we slept under a it was just a tarp but it wasn't that cold if I remember right it would have been like upper 20s this is going to be in the teens to single digits it's going to be really cold so we've got two pack ba backpacks completely filled up with sleeping bags we've got hatchets we're going to do a full unboxing we, we do have some wood we also brought stuff to ice fish because we are at the backyard pond and we're not necessarily going after catching cooks but we figured I'm like if I'm sitting in a tent watching the sun go down just hanging out or maybe in tomorrow morning we might give it a little dangle and see what bites the ice is now thicker than it was as you guys saw in the previous video um, it's been really cold the last couple days over the holidays now we're back it's time to do a little camping so I think this is probably where we're thinking you know this is also kind of the first time we've ever done a hot tent video and so I got to make sure I know what I'm doing here before we go way out into the wilderness we go hike out somewhere into the ranch and do some 24 hour 72 hour survival challenge I got to make sure I I kind of button everything up for a trial run so that's what today is today is let's try hot tent camping let's see if we like it see if we don't see if you guys like it or you don't if you guys like it you guys gotta let me know in the comment section down below and then we will expand from there maybe we do hot tent camping out on the ice when it's maybe a little bit thicker maybe we go do a deer hunting challenge in the snow at the ranch where we camp out until we harvest a deer we may be there for a week and you know have MREs and squirrel hunt I think it'd be really cool kind of mixing survival with camping and you do it in the snow when it's really cold out Sounds like great entertainment for you guys, potentially miserable for us, but we are going to find out. So we're going to get all this gear and unload it, get our tent set up. Stay tuned. Well, la ti da, folks. Imagine that. An Amazon hot tent. Doesn't have a floor. Every tent I've ever been in has had a floor. I don't know, is it standard for hot tents to have floors or no? Yeah, I'm glad this is a hot tent, because if it wasn't, we'd be so cold. It's we a have cold to be, tent right now. We have to be careful with what touches the ground now, because it's snow. But we got a couple cool things. We'll give you guys a full unboxing here soon. Starting off, though, freaking sick collapsible table, okay? This is gonna be necessity, especially, hey, with the snow on the ground, this is like our only way of keeping anything dry. These are pretty slick though. I'll give it to Amazon. You guys got some cool camping gear, but your hot tent on the other hand, I'm not, I'm not feeling it yet. But speaking of hot tent, we need to get the hot part going ASAP, boys. We are, uh, we're a little chilled right now, especially Jake. Yeah. All right. Look at that table. All right. <laughs> See, keep your, keep your stuff dry now. This is, Gonna be what saves our life tonight. This is a cooker, wood burning stove cooktop dealio. And what's interesting is you might be thinking, well, Flair, if you've got this chimney, the chimney is gonna be hot, right? This piece, this chimney. And it's gonna go through the tent. Is it gonna melt the tent? Yes. Yeah, yes, it will. It this tent does not have, in my opinion, what I'm looking at doesn't have any extra protection. 
that you would need. Because that'd be the probably the bottom. Bottom. It bottom ish. Yeah. Okay. At least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The old dampener. Now you dampener. Let, her, let her flow. Oh, there's the whole exhaust. <laughs> that, that'll do it. That's the top. I will say, pretty easy. I've easy. seen some YouTube videos where people have to, uh, they're like, it's almost like tin foil and you roll it at an angle so it gets really long. Like, uh, that's how they like make telescope it. telescope Yeah, out. but then it like, it Weird. starts off like this, but then you can, that sounds like a pain in the ass. Yeah, this, I'm, I'm not smart enough for that. So, this goes up there. So, you see our issue here is, that's you just, you just do, but there's, unless this little brown extra... Stitching is proof. completely heat proof. Also, we're I see a lot of heat right here. Yeah, you got to button that up. So we might melt our tent. We're not sure. But that's her. But that's it. It's ready to rock. What does this thing do? I think that's for that mixing gra your gra fire Grab up. your claw, your uh, logs. Logs. I thought about bringing a table. I should have brought a freaking chair. I thought we this would have a floor. I, I I just I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe I'm the idiot. Matches right there. And that hatchet. Check. Store bought firewood. Check. Okay, oh, that's but here, I gotta get it. I gotta get it up on the, not in the snow. This is the densest, or this is the least, probably the least sharp. Oh, oh here there we go. go. Hey. There, there. Yeah, you haters. Okay. We're getting somewhere now. All right, we're building the pile. Hey, that, one went in the that one's already in. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot of hits. There's a lot going on there. That's a good piece. That's though. a perfect piece. Yeah. Good God. Dude, hardest wood on the planet. Yeah, that's, it's hickory, Maybe that makes good firewood. These guys are waterproof. Oh, look at hey, they knew I they knew it was gonna be a struggle. They came with just a little tinder action. Don't mind if I do. So if you need a little extra, you just throw one right on top. It's burning. I blew it right out. Right. There. There. <coughs> Our smokestack is doing much, is it? Shoo! That's a fire. We got fire! Alright, I'm gonna split some more wood and uh, get these cots set up, get more stuff off the ground, and then should be in business. Stay tuned. Ah, oh, we're talking. Dad, Daddy's got a seat now. We might just be dumb. In the time it took you to set up two cots, I split three shards of wood. Hey, that's pretty good, honestly. <laughs> Cool. Besides no floor, I'm enjoying this. Dude, this is okay. Six person, big stretch. Six person, no. The big stretch guys. Two guys. Two yeah, guys absolutely. is mint, dude. This is awesome. Like, would it be cooler if it, or not? I wouldn't say cooler, but it'd be more functional if this thing wasn't a circle, though. Yeah, if it was like somehow a rectangle. Because be the business. way we're both setting is kind of weird. Like, yeah. Because this is all gonna have condensation on it. True. Hopefully, it doesn't drip on us. Yeah, yeah. Smoke. Oh, we're melting. No way. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Full what? on. Tent's on fire. What? Melting, melting. Yeah. Why? It's melting. Why it is, is the tent melting? It, it's melting. It's melted. It's stuck to it. it. Yeah, you can't get it off now. It, look at this backside. You see that it melted a hole. This thing, that, that hole is designed for. What Are we missing the collar? Like, there's got there's usually, like, a you know, a little double wall deal on there. Yeah. This thing is it said it was a hot tent. It's designed for this. I mean, there's a hole there for a reason. I mean, unless you... Opened it all the way and just like let it hover. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's gonna let some heat out, but I think it really is. Oh wow, it's really stuck to it. Whew. Is it hot? You feel oh, it's it? really melted though. It's it's warm. Obviously, I don't know. So you're just supposed to float it? I mean, that's just gonna let a ton of heat out. I can tell you that. But so I think it's just supposed to do that. All right. Well, anyone wants a tent with a hole in it? I've got one. I mean, what if it rains? Yeah, we're wet. This tent sucks. I think it's this tent. I might need to go somewhere besides Amazon for my tent needs. Oh yeah, let's give you guys a quick unboxing here. So, what we brought, we got a couple bags. With some, some light bulbs. Yep, we got, oh yeah, is that those oh, down yeah, there? Yeah, check these bad boys out. 
Bam. Yeah. So we do have a couple of them. I need to split a lot more wood. The scissor. We've been putting our bags in there. I don't think there was much in here. We had the table in there. Yeah, this was all this up. The other yeah. one has the food, what we're going to be dining on, which again, went to the camping section, and we got a few options, okay? All right, so for breakfast tomorrow, two options. We've got scrambled eggs in a bag or breakfast skillet. Could be fire. So there's your breakfast. And then for dinner, we have creamy mac and cheese, chicken fried rice, and I believe I got us a third option here. Spaghetti with meat sauce. Could, could be a banger. And then, like I said, in the morning, we've got this doohickey to make coffee. So you just put it on there like that and heat up your water and you pour coffee grounds in it and then you get coffee, which I've never, I've actually personally never done before. So that'll be interesting. Some fishing poles for later. But check this sucker out I found on Amazon. So this thing, believe it or not, this has everything you need for like three or four people to cook and eat. And it all condenses into this. That comes out. So there's your skillet, right? You fry some eggs or whatever, really. Skillet, check. And then in here, you've got plates. some bowls, plates, deep plates, plates right there. This is the lid. Then you've got, well, this is a ladle. Well, there's some cups. Cups for drinking or ranch dipping sauce, whatever you prefer. Oh, we got, I think it's a four person set. And then look at this. This, yeah, this, this turns into a ladle, but I'll show you this. Look at the silverware. There's your knife. And it slides over. Then you cut it. You watch, I'll grab a fork. I mean, it all comes into this. I think it's a four person set. Get your fork. Yeah, and then you got, oh, I didn't realize it had that. Oh, little, that's a little kettle action. Right and then these both turn into pots. two pots. Like this. And then it goes like this. I thought it was pretty interesting. I mean, do that. That's I mean, that's a, that's a big, pot. that's a full size pot. So we have stuff to cook. We've got our meals. We have stuff to dangle. Um, we got to figure out this fire situation. But as soon as the fire's ripping, we'll turn it down a little bit, keep this nice and warm. We already, we can see our cots here. You see this one? And then Jake's got his. So we're, we're both somewhat comfy in here, I'd say. I'd say we're, the, the biggest issue is, and I bought one, I didn't bring it because I think we need it, is we need snow to cover the flaps because the wind is just, whew. but right here, if I had a thermometer, oh, yeah. it's got to be 70 in here. At like least. it's hot. Yeah. Like I could be in a t-shirt right now. So we're going to get all this stuff situated and then I think we're going to run out to the ice before it gets dark, pop a couple holes, see if we can catch a couple fish before it gets too cold. Um, whether we catch them or not, I don't know. And then we'll come back and make a nice hot meal before we go to bed. Stay tuned. All right, we're about to go ice fishing, but since we have some, look out, add cold water to a hot pot, I'm starting to freak out. We, we were just about to go and I was like, what's the point of having the fire keep the tent warm? It could be heating up water for these. I don't think it needs to be boiling though. Let's see, carefully add one and a half cups of boiling water. JK, it needs to be boiling. So that was, you need 12 ounces and that was 17. So a half of that would be eight and a half. What's eight and a half be 25 and you need 20. So a half of this one and a half bottles Yeah, yeah. ish. So we'll add another half. Yeah. We were like, we might as well get the water boiling. Cause that might take some time uh, while we go do a little dangle. So I'm going to cover this. The fire is fire's roaring. By the time we get back, we'll, we'll refeed some. I'll need, I'll need to chop some more wood, but let's get these ice fishing danglers going. So we got waxies, some rods, the auger. Let's go give it a dangle. I think it's thicker than the other day. Hopefully. Oh yeah. Oh for sure. Oh, she feels solid. Way better. All right. It still broke under me. Did it you did. feel I it? I felt that too. Yeah. I mean that's. Six, eight inches, maybe? Probably four or five. Okay. I think we're fine. It broke under me, though. That was that weird. Too. I don't like that. There we go. All right, let's drop her down. See if we can catch anything. I'm cold. Are, man. are you? Yeah, I'm a little chilly, yeah. <laughs> These cam videos don't expect me to do much besides sit in that tent, okay? Because that's all I want to do, especially if it's even colder than this. It would be really cool, though, to be honest, if you, if you had the equipment you know the gear and did like a deer hunting video would be mm -hmm. sick
like go out, hike in the woods, try to harvest, like spot and stock a whitetail, come back to your camp, cook it up. All right, no graph. We'll just base it off of the sink speed here. So we're not fishing with a graph though. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. He's just waiting, waiting to see the fish. Oh, bite, 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 bite. It could be a bluegill nibbling those waxies off. Yeah. Bass usually strike pretty hard. 100% had one. Yep, oh, there he is. he's back. Bluegills. I bet it's gills. Yep, he's back. He's back. Come on. We're on. Got him. We're on. We're on. Let's see. Oh, big gill with the pimp daddy. Let's go. Hey, if we were surviving, we wouldn't be dead. We'd be all right. I mean, yeah. We'd be all right. We'd be eating bluegill. We'd be eating some nice gills. I can tell by the bite. Look at that. <laughs> Hey, you calm down, Rick. Hey, hey, hey. It's your lucky day we're not doing a catch cook. It's not very often we catch a bluegill and don't throw you right in the grease. But we don't need to, so here you go, buddy. All right, see you back in the tent. Shoo! Wow. Oh my God, it's hot. It's like, Dude, it's maybe 95 in this. Yeah. Like, it's warm. It is so hot. You know what Apple needs to come out with? Huh. An app that can read temp based on the temp of your phone. Uh, I think Snapchat does. Really? Maybe it just tells you the weather. The weather. Like the temperature outside. Dude, it's so hot. When I say it's hot in here. Yeah, it's warm. Like, yeah. I'm going to be naked, dude. It's so freaking naked. It's so hot. That didn't take long with the old dangle sticks. Daddy still has it. Okay, in case you haters. <laughs> yeah, I don't fish anymore. Yeah, you saw that. No graph needed, buddy. I'm glad we started earlier because it ain't boiling yet. Tell us if we're wrong, but this thing. That's gotta be. I feel like you're on right? something there, right? Is it my eyes or is this glowing red, red hot? I think it is. Yeah. That's glowing red hot, is it oh, not? Oh yeah, it's glowing red. That can't be normal, right? Glowing red hot. I feel like that's not. Mm, I don't know. I feel like that's not normal. Let us know if you think that this little that little topper popper thing is for that or not. But dude, I'm sweaty. Uh -huh. yeah. Just standing. We're sitting right like I'm. You're closer to it than I am. I'm, I'm hot. hot. Like I'm like real, real freaking hot. I mean, maybe packing the snow in. I mean, so the key, the key. At least what Bear Grylls taught me. The key in the winter is to be all. You'd be off the ground. Mm -hmm. So that's why we have cots. Well, thank God that I didn't plan on a tent with a floor and just said we'll just sleep in sleeping bags on the ground. Because mm -hmm. then we'd be dead. You're supposed to get off the ground. That's supposed to help a lot when it comes to uh, like staying warm. So as long as we don't get carbon monoxide poisoning. So oh, where I was going with that is I'm maybe, maybe it's good we didn't pack the ring of snow. We got a little airflow. Because we have a little airflow. And it, honestly, it's probably gonna be too freaking hot yeah. if this thing's actually ripping. Now, overnight, um, you know, the, you know, we'll let it die way down and this thing should hold this shitting. The idea with this thing is that it'll retain heat for a while. And the, this, this sucker's retaining real good right now. That's, you don't, I don't want to roll over and accidentally touch that either. We're going to let this water boil. I'm going to split some wood and get a reserve built up for overnight. I'll be curious to see how much it really takes just because it's so hot in here right now. Like I think right before bed, I'll just shove it full, crank down the, the airflow window. So it just smolders and just really goes slow. I don't know if I'll have to feed it throughout the night, maybe once or twice. But right now, it's freaking like a sauna in here. Feels like a sauna. So let's get splitting some wood. Condensing. I'm working out of sweat. Good. There's a knot right there. Hey. Now we're on something. All right, folks, time to eat. Look at this nice wood pile we got. He's ready to go. I got a bunch of little logs. That way, if it does go out and we need to kind of inch it along a little bit, but chicken fried rice, spaghetti and meat sauce, and mac and cheese. I'll let you pick. What do you, what's your favorite? Mac and cheese. Okay. I'm going to try chicken fried rice. Really? Like, I feel like that could be the deal. One and a half cups. Make sure it's the, all the same. One and a third cups. You sucker. Oh. They threw a curveball at us. Yeah, we don't have anything to measure, so give it the old eyeball treatment. But this thing's six, 600 calories, quite oh. a bit. There's a, a ton of food in here, though. Really? Like a ton. And then it also doesn't expire for 30 years. So... If we like them, we can put them in the missile silo. All right, so how these work is you open the package uh, at 
attach. Oh yeah, remove the and discard the oxygen absorber. Get rid of that, and then put. I'm glad to see. I'm glad I read this. I would mm -hmm. just dump that in there. So it should be a little. And there's. Oh yeah, there's right here. Chicken fried rice. One and a half cups, I think, in this guy. So about. Son of a. I didn't. I also didn't realize that thing would get hot. You would think it's designed to be on top of this thing. Like it should be hot. It's freaking hot. All right, so we're gonna have to give her the old eyeball. Oh, rip. Try to go for about half. I don't know if you're supposed to zip lock it. Probably. So it, so it cooks. It cooks oh yeah, close zipper, wait five minutes. Okay, mm -hmm. zipper's been closed. All right, and then we've got some creamy mac and cheese. Nice and creamy. Ooh. be a little light on mine i don't know kind of hard for me to see yeah it's hard to judge there's a decent amount so mine might be mine might not be great but if it's too dry i'll leave this on there keep it hot let this wait five minutes and we'll see what it tastes like yeah stay tuned Shoo! chicken fried rice i didn't add too much water i can tell you that much a little soupish just a little bit and you can eat them straight out of the bag but since we got the brand new kit from amazon with all the plates and stuff then figured might as well Give her a rip here. Look at that. Oh yeah. Yeah, I definitely didn't add too much water. So we'll see, curious how yours turns out. But I mean, for being out in the middle of nowhere in the woods, this ain't a bad meal. I haven't tasted it yet. As long as it don't taste like cat food, I think it'll be worth something. All right, let's see what this mac and cheese looks like. Oh, did we, we must not have measured all that great. Why? Well, looks it's like little, soup? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah. So we must not know how to measure. I mean, it, it's going to taste the same. I just, maybe their mac and cheese is a little on the soupy side. I just kind of assumed it would be on the more macaroni noodle with a hint of cheese. I mean, okay, yours kind of looks like a struggle meal, I'll say. Yeah, 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 it looks a little rough. It looks a little rough. But good news, if yours is a bag of wieners and mine isn't, there's enough for the both of us. So, all right, I'll let these guys cool off over here. I'm going to give, go ahead and just get in after. Hmm. Mmm. I don't know what that was I just ate. It's something <laughs> kind of hard. I'm not sure. It's not bad. Really? Definitely could use soy sauce. The fact that that thing could last on a shelf, though, for 30 years. Impressive. Like, the egg is like marshmallow texture. Oh, really? It's odd. It's a little odd. It's definitely a little odd. But, you're surviving in the woods, this would taste like the best meal on the freaking planet. Mmm. All right. I'm going to try yours. She's a little soupy. I'm curious what the, if the flavor is going to be good or not. Oh, the noodles ain't done yet. Oh, really? They're hard. I don't think it's fully absorbed all the water. I think that's why it's Oh, soupy. rip. Well, dude, we put it in for at least five minutes. Uh -huh. They're good. It's just the noodles are hard? They're like not like crunchy, but they're like Yeah, a yeah, little hard just a little still, much. So maybe, maybe we need to let it sit for a while. Well, it's also getting less soupy as it sits here. Oh. So I wonder if, wonder if we just let it... Just let it let it just do its thing and be better. It's but it's not That's bad. Fire. Really? Mm -hmm. Yours is good. All right, I got, like I'm gonna try a bite then. Mm, wow, your noodles are hard. <laughs> like you were really underplaying how hard they are. Those oh, are really? I didn't think. I mean, those were like flavor's good. Mm -hmm. It needed some soaking time though. Yeah, it needs to soak a little bit. It needs a little. I might just. Might just give it one of the. Maybe, I mean, that that's the only thing that makes sense is we didn't let it sit long enough. I guess, let me read the instructions. Is Maybe this one's supposed to sit longer, huh? Five minutes. Stir five minutes? <laughs> yeah. Red! Oh, How that? hard is it to read? Does yours say that too? Yeah, wait five minutes, stir, again reseal, let it sit for four minutes. We didn't do that second part. No. I just had to read that next. I got, dude, so I, you can stay in school, learn how to read. Okay. That's all right. I don't know how mine could get better though. It just it, it it's just not flavorful. It ain't gonna get more flavorful. All right, so you're supposed to okay. I apologize. Now I'm an idiot. Oh, see you guys in five minutes. All right, I'm gonna see if these noodles are creamy or not. It says creamy mac and, mac and cheese, but them noodles were hard as a rock. Oh, it's still hot. Oh yeah. Is that the deal now? <laughs> oh God, yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's the deal, man. It's still runny. Mmm. Mmm. When the noodles are edible, it is so much better. All right, dude. I definitely thought chicken fried rice would win. 
I feel like your mac and cheese might be top. Really? Yeah. Mm. Way better. Yeah. That's Way good. better. It tastes like the you know the ones you like can bake in the oven. Oh that yeah. Come in like a pan. Yeah, frozen. yeah. No, that's the like deal. Those. Those oh god, good. yeah. That's it. That's pretty. That's pretty solid. Fire. Chicken fried rice took the L. Surprisingly, I definitely I was like, oh, chicken fried rice. Like it's gonna have all these things in it, and eggs. And it's gonna be really good. It wasn't bad. But I think those noodles are for sure better. We didn't do the spaghetti and meat sauce, so you have to stay tuned for maybe a future episode. And I don't know, maybe let us know, are these the best meals to get for these types of episodes? I mean, some of these videos that we do in these tents, you know, we will do some type of survival. We have to go harvest. But again, this was just to get our feet wet. We're learning a lot. We were just talking about that as these were like, okay, a few lessons to learn. Get a tent that can actually have one of these little, you know, wood burner deals in here, not melt. Check. And then get the, uh, make sure you pack snow around the rim. Bring a shovel because right now we're just getting cold air. And we were, you know how hot we were talking about? It's so hot. It's not so hot in here. It's still hot. You can't see your breath. But I'm also right next to this sucker. And we're, we're kind of nursing it because I don't want to burn through all of our wood right now. So it's not ripping. We've got one big log on there that's just slowly smoldering. So as that's happening, like this thing isn't red hot anymore. I mean, this thing itself is hot. But it's not like my ass is just a little cold right now. I'll be honest. You can feel the cold air coming, coming from up. The floor and yeah, really I was like, cold. I can feel it right here. Yeah. But these are zero degree sleeping mummy sleeping bags, which should keep us hopefully warm. Um, hopefully. So, anyways, I'm gonna finish this meal, and uh, I can't quite see. Oh, maybe it's cloudy. I can't see the stars yet, but it does look pretty dark. So, finish eating, and uh, and we'll get to bed. You guys, stay tuned. Shoo! <laughs> it's so cold. it's so cold out here compared to that. Hang on, don't let the heat out. <laughs> Look at that. That is crazy. Here, I'll give you that. That is crazy. You can see the literal glow. Yeah, turn that light off for a second. Look at that. That's cool. That looks great. I don't know what it is. Like some about. It. I always watch YouTube videos where people do this, and it's that glow with the smoke coming out, the snow on the ground. It gets me horny, I'll tell you what folks. So far we're enjoying it. Besides the melted tent and the hard macaroni noodles, it's been good. I'm getting back inside though. It is way, it is way too cold for this. Oh, oh, it's so warm in here. Ooh. 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 Dude, like instantly cold. hands are numb, dude. We ate, we're chilling, sun's down. It's not a whole lot going on. So I'm gonna feed this fire a little bit and get the, get it. I mean, I'm gonna basically build it as big as I possibly can before we go to bed. Get it cranking, make sure it's all hot and then shut those vents. What that'll do is it'll slow the oxygen and it should let everything just smolder. It should burn and it should take a while to burn. And then I, you can see, can you see this pile over here? Yeah. These are my, these are my feeders. So that way throughout the night, I might put a couple on, get it ripping, throw another log on it. And then we should be good, but this is, this is spectacular how warm it is in here. I might actually, as I say, I might get in get in the old sleeping bag here and give her give her a try before we get too crazy. Oh yeah. Big mummy guy. Oh god yeah. Oh yeah. As long as the condensation don't get too bad, I can already see a little bit. If I start starts dripping on me and gets wet, it might be a little cold, but Oh, it's nice and warm in here. Oh yeah, these, these sleeping bags are gonna do it. And then I just, see what I'll do is I'll keep my boots about right here. And then in the middle of the night, just open that. Uh oh, getting smoky. I need to need a little bit, I can go like that. Easily feed the fire. Grab this, shut the door. And go right back to sleep. I think we got it for our first trial. I think we, we designed it right. We where we put this, where we put these, so you can lay and easily have access. Plus, you're really close. Like you're not too close, but this whole thing is nice and warm right now. I think we'll be in business. Hopefully, we we'll get a good night's sleep. How's that going? Oh God, yeah. This nice, toasty. dude. It's so hot. Like warm. So hot. Well, boys, we're in the mummy sleeping bag right now. It's literally completely zipped up. Like my whole body. It's like a cocoon. It's so hot in here. Like, I'm sweating. So I might not put anything on the fire. But, yeah, can you... Let's see, how are you looking over there? Oh, God, yeah. Warm. Gotta finish zipping. Oh, gotta, gotta get, get all the way zipped up. Yeah, so you might you might have to get a shot at me here. I'm looking real nice. <laughs> How's this? You are wrapped up. Dude, it's the zipper's right here. It's a, le like, legit mummy. I mean, if I stick my... If I stick my head in here and get my nice hot breath in there... I mean, there's... I don't know how you could get cold. Because I've got a little room in the bag yeah. that I mean I can freaking 
Oh yeah. Like that? Mm-hmm. I think his back part's kind of like a hood too, isn't it? Oh yeah. Does that come up? Yeah. <laughs> You're fully in that thing. Yeah, it's not good for carbon monoxide, probably. Um, hopefully we don't get it. There's enough draft under. That's the only thing. I can feel a little, not cold, but just right on my ass. It's just it's cooler than everything else, because that's what's kind of touching. But you can see it's 10. So I usually, I, dude, I'm in bed by like 9.45 every night. I think I'm ready. I mean, it's the point where like, I, I don't want to move. We don't have any cell phone service, so we can't just like, you know, rip TikTok. But this is pretty nice in here, honestly. I mean... I'm cozy, and the fact that if it gets a little cold and I don't want to add, you know, wood, I just I just do that, and then I'm nice and warm. It's a zero degree bag. I don't think it's going to get to zero. It should be, because I think I saw like nine, nine. So I'll let you know if it's actually a zero degree bag, or if I get cold, or how many times I have to feed this freaking fire. See you guys in the morning. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is, uh, it's almost four in the morning, and uh, I just put my last last piece of wood in the fire <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna make it uh, I don't know if it's gonna make it until I don't know, I'm trying to get try to sleep to at least 6 6 30 so we've got about three hours and uh, this thing is hot the actual fire stove is hot uh, I'm not that cold but I will say it's it got cold last night, a lot colder than I thought it would be. And the wind picked up, the wind is rattling the tent pretty bad. I slept okay, but I just put in my last piece. I wanna give you guys an update. And uh, I'm gonna close all the baffles and just try to get this really slow burn. And then hopefully we get up in the morning, we can get it fired back up, get the tent heated back up, and make some breakfast. Stay tuned. How'd that go? Oh God, yeah. <laughs> That's tensile, slightly damp. I was gonna say, I'm, I'm a little wet. I'm a little wet up here on the sleeping bag, but other than that, this cot's nice. Isn't that's a nice cot? Cot off the ground, that's key. Yeah, we don't have a floor. Well, boys, it is officially 6 45 in the morning, and we've got a little flame left, but not much. That fire, the last log I put on was a pretty big one, so it, it smoldered for a while, but we are completely, I'll show you my, remember where my wood pile was? There's, oh, we got, I got one straggler right there, but there's no, uh, there's no more wood. So I'm going to get up <coughs> and start chopping wood, but yeah, the tent, that's our, I think, it's our, I'll see the wind now. Yeah, the wind's ripping now. Our biggest, I think our biggest issue is the, uh, it's not terrible. There's some condensation on here and like the tent, we need to get like a square one of these. I think it fit fit more more people and more room but i wasn't cold overnight i just i was the most comfortable sleep i've ever had but i wasn't cold physically i wasn't cold the wetness on there this thing was a little bad but you know the air got pretty cold at times when i would have to fill you know fill the uh the stove but i just went full mummy mode and just cuddled up it wasn't too bad so sleeping bags are definitely nice and you could always add some heaters and blankets and stuff in here but anyways um we have coffee and we've got some scrambled eggs and I think a breakfast skillet on the menu. But I need to start chopping some wood because we don't have any for cooking breakfast. Stay tuned. You just can't let it completely die die. I think we have fire again. I mean, you can see all of this. We definitely have something going on. All right, well, let's try to make some breakfast. This right here, this is what we're dangling with, folks. We've got breakfast skillet and just straight up scrambled eggs, freeze dried. Um, let's read the instructions this time. We learned our lesson last night. Carefully add one and a quarter cup, 10 ounces. How, these people think we have measuring cups out here. And then, Put it in there, close the zipper, wait five, stir, and then additional four. And then this is just straight one cup, eight ounces. She's getting hot now. <laughs> She's glowing. When we when we open the, the, all the valves and stuff, this thing just freaking, it roars, but then it burns really fast. So that's like overnight, I had everything shut down and this thing was just radiating heat, but it wasn't putting off the heat that it is now. This is like a tremendous difference. So we need 10 ounces and eight ounces, so 18 ounces, and these are 17 ounces. So we'll just get a... Bottle in a little bit. Yeah, let me... This is gonna be the way we're gonna measure this. 
You just need one full bottle. And then one needs a little bit more than the other. So like that. that. Should be perfect. So we got 18 ounces. Oh yeah, that sucker's already hot. I'm gonna try boiling it in this thing. This was the little kettle pot that came with our little set. And that way we can make our coffee separately. Bam! Coffee maker, check. We'll see how it works, I'll let you guys know. The pour over, to me, is, seems like a, I thought it was gonna be more, like excessive. It seemed a little bit more simple. Now, you could always, you still could do a pour over. You could take the water out of here, don't put water in there, and then pour over it, I'd probably do the same thing. But, mm -hmm. the whole coming up through the chute and doing that, it's interesting to me. I'll let you know if it works, and then we're gonna get our water boiling for breakfast, and Hopefully we have a nice, delicious meal with some hot coffee. Stay tuned. Shoo! Look at that steam, folks. It is boiling. Uh, the the water for, for the breakfast is boiling. The coffee still ain't quite doing it, but we've got this thing freaking loaded down with some wood. It is, it's ripping now. So this is your plain Jane scrambled eggs. Kind of looks, kind of looks weird. I mean, I yeah, I'm not. What's that? Well, there might be a little... Oh, with uncured bacon, let's go. I was gonna say, I see some something brown in there. I wasn't mm. too sure what's going on. I'll take this water. How's it handle? Hot. Real hot. I'm gonna take a guess. Say that's about right. And say that's about about yay. Now, seal it. Remember, five minutes, then stir it, then reseal it. That's where we messed up last night. I mean, they're all wet, so I think that's what you're after. So, scrambled eggs, check. We've got breakfast skill. That's what I'm excited for. Shredded potatoes, scrambled eggs, mixed with pork, sausage, peppers, and onions. Sheesh. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's going to be the deal there, boys. Our boiling water. Okay, got a little more water in that one. This is one that needed more water, let's go. All right, I think that should be good. Let's seal that bad boy up. All right, we're gonna let our food cook, stir, cook, and hopefully by then coffee's ready. Stay tuned. Shoo, coffee ready, boys. That took forever, by the way. I think a French press is honestly a better way to go. Look at that hot coffee. I'm gonna go just a little bit, because it's freaking real hot, and I'm gonna go, actually go stick it in the snow right here, because I wanna give it a try here. This is gonna take forever to cool off. It's not completely dark, like straight black, black, black coffee. It's like a light roast. But we'll let that keep going. So essentially, this is all new to me, but the water shoots up out of the metal straw and then lands on top of the coffee grounds and it soaks through. So the longer you let it happen, the stronger your coffee will be. That took probably 30 minutes. Pretty crazy in my opinion, because you could have just taken the boiling water we had from our, our breakfast and did a pour over or a French press and you would have had coffee way sooner. I don't know if it's this pot or what. I mean, we've had fire just, or the logs ripping in there. It just took forever. So anyways, this is the breakfast though. We took it out, we stirred it. This is breakfast skillet. I'm gonna go ahead and just put it on the old. Fried the, rice this bowl. is a fried rice, fried rice bowl here. Go ahead and dish some up. Give it a try. Oh yeah, yeah. The onions and peppers in there. Sheesh. Some hashies. Tell me, this stuff may not be like gourmet, gourmet, but if you're in the woods and you're surviving and this is all you have, it'd be a pretty solid meal. So we we follow the instructions this time now. We let it sit for another four or five minutes. Mmm. Mmm. Damn. Wow. All right. I see you. Oh, yeah. This is a 10 times better than the fried rice. Oh, yeah. That's a deal right there. All right. I'm try your eggs. That's like a right. 9 out of 10, dude. Really? They're pretty dang good. Get the old, uh... Get the old Mac off there? Yeah. This soupy Mac? That'll work. 
They had soupy eggs now. Weren't ready. Oh, gross. <laughs> Nasty. <laughs> Rib. I don't know what I got the soup. Why you get stuff. the Why you always get the soup? I don't know. I didn't even use all the water either, so I know there's like no way I put too much water in the eggs because there was water left over, you know. Yeah. You don't look that impressed. <laughs> that ain't it, buddy. Really? A little soupy egg. The egg is bad. Is bad. I say, give stick your fork in that sucker. You gotta try that. Yeah, I will. Horrible. That, try that. That I mean, that thing's got something going for it. Oh, that's fire. Really? The onions and peppers. And that helps. Eggs are not nearly as bad. Really? You gotta try those. Straight up egg. Ooh. Yeah, like crunch going on. What's with the... We definitely had enough water. I mean, we did yeah. not have enough water. Why are your eggs like trash? Mm -hmm. The flavor's not bad, but the texture's whack. Yeah, the texture's horrible. I like tuna on styrofoam. It's like a like a stale marshmallow texture. Yeah. Why, why is this way better? I don't know. Yours is gas, though. Mmm. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Now, I'd say I prefer that we chef it up instead of doing these, but we wanted to make the first episode simple. Not a whole lot of supplies. To keep it basic so we could try it. Now, try my little coffee here. It's cold. It's like iced coffee really? already. Yeah, <laughs> that's snow. weird. Yeah, the snow. Dude, that ain't bad. Really? I'm not even a black coffee type of guy either. I'm a oh, big cream. Really? I'm a big cream guy. Yeah. Big cream guy. It's probably because it's not strong. It was cold though. Like mine was like ice. I don't oh, know yeah, if yours it's is. Cold, cold. Yeah. Should I add a little hot to it. I mean, yeah. Give it. Give it. Give it a. Give it a, give it a splash. All right. We'll see what that does. See, see what that's got going for you. What you got to say about that? It's weak. Is it? <laughs> it's a weak. Is it weak? It's good. It's not bad. It's just, I'm impressed. It's just weak. For just one pot, though. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's like, we need to let it go for another I was going to say, this thing's like a two-hour, I was telling Jake, I was like, this thing wouldn't be bad if you set it up, like, overnight, like, filled it full of water, filled it, filled up the grounds, and then, you know, my, like, what was it this morning, 3.45 or 4, like, during that fuel refuel session is when you need to put the coffee pot on, yeah, so it's, and then go back to stuff. bed, and then wake up at 6.30. That's really what you need to what you need to do. I don't know. You have to let me know. Is there a better a better system than this? I mean, it's also not even I think it takes an insane amount of like, I mean, we're, I was going to say we're, we're almost out of we're almost out of wood and you saw how much we chopped and this has been ripping for 45 minutes to an hour and it's not now it's not shooting up and boiling anymore. I mean, it's like, coffee, but it's, it's yeah. It ain't like it's out of your coffee pot. Yeah. It's coffee. I, I think a French press or a pour over would be better. You guys have to let us know. What do you do when you go camping and you, you need a coffee? Cuz if you do this, Man, do you have more time than me? Because that that's it, that, that takes some time. But breakfast skillet, I give it like a for a freeze dried meal, probably like a nine out of ten. Uh, the eggs and uncured bacon, about a two. Yeah, <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe a three if you're if you're really really hungry. Chicken fried rice, about a five. And then you had mac and cheese, which I thought was pretty decent. That was maybe like an eight or so. Not too bad. So anyways, we're gonna pack it up here. Uh, you can tell it's uh it's daylight right now. It's about eight a.m. Uh, so we uh. Yeah, we we cooked the coffee for quite some time. That took a long time to sit here. It is nice and warm, um, but we burned through all the wood that we already chopped, and uh, and you know that's how long it took to get the coffee. So I don't like. I think the only downfall of this entire thing was our coffee strat was not was not up to par. But that's why we do these tests. So you guys have let us know if you guys want to see more of these hot tent videos. We're thinking maybe we get a bigger one. We can have banjo come along. Maybe we go to the ranch. Maybe we do some hunting. Like right now we just did fishing. You guys saw maybe we go out and squirrel hunting, rabbit hunting, deer hunting. I mean all that stuff is still open right now. So we could potentially kind of incorporate the camping survival in with the hunting. I think it can make some pretty cool content for you guys. Let us know what you think in the comment section down below. If you guys are ready to see this video, peace.